right now, I'm speaking boss language. Yeah, I'm speaking boss If you ain't no boss, this might go over your head. It might go over your head, I'm speaking If you a boss, go ahead and pull a chair to the table. This a boss is only me. I'm speaking Yeah, boss. yeah. Hey. I'm just speaking boss language, I'm speaking boss language. Hey. You might not understand me, though, if you ain't a boss, son. Hey. I'm just speaking boss language, I'm speaking boss language. People are so scared of failing, and they, they feel like that's going to be it for them. And to me, I've always told people, oh, if you don't fail, then you don't know how to be a successor in what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So um, don't take failure as a weakness. Take it as strength and to learn from and to keep going on forward. Like, like for instance, like yourself has done. You know, you haven't, you've been kicked down twice, but you haven't said, you know, I'm gonna stay down. You got back up and you kept fighting. So that's been very inspirational to a lot of people out here that watch this video, to include myself. So Yeah, never be afraid. Like for me, I had to go back company. Yeah. Like once basically I gave that truck up and then the uh the green truck caught on fire. Yeah, I had to basically go back company. Right. I had to lick my wounds and just take the L, went company and just stack back up and then went and got me another truck. There you go. So it's like, I mean, you can't be afraid to basically fail or have to, you know, take steps back. You just got to keep it in your mind that I'm going to be, I'm no matter what happens, I'm going to be on or up at the end of the day. There you go. Final question for you, man. I'm going to let you go. Your opinion on leasing. My opinion on leasing? Honestly, leasing? Uh, if I could really do everything all over again, now that I know about leasing, I mean, it's something that I would do. A lot of people are so anti-leasing, but it's like with anything, you're going to have to put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in it. Yeah. It's like at the end of the day, you're going to have to work just like, we'll say Jezebel, my white truck. It's not a lease truck, but I treat it like that. Right. Because like at the end of the day, I'd rather pay 400 a week, just me taking that out of my checks versus shelling out 1500 to say like if I had my radiator bus right if it wasn't for me taking 400 a week out I had to shell out 1600 bucks to fix my radiator mm. now say if I would have just took all that and made one truck payment off of one week that's what almost $3,100 that I would have to shell out in one week because I had this breakdown right it's a lot harder to do than just taking $400 on top of that 1500 or right. 1600 because $2,000 basically now I got to shell out because I got my little $400 payment and I got my $1,600 radiator. That's a lot easier to make than 3100 bucks. Right. But for me, I mean, anybody that wants to lease, I mean, by all means, go for it because they say, oh, the company's going to do this, the company's going to do that. But if you get with a good company and you basically give it your all, I mean, hey, you'll you'll succeed, especially if it's a quick one of them leases that are like two year lease. Right, right. All you gotta do is just bang out, bang it out for two good years, and make the balloon payment at the end of the day. Right. Because say if you finance and something happens and the repo man comes, it's going on your credit as a repo. Mm -hmm. You go to a lease, you basically fill a lease, it goes back to the company and they give it to the next guy. Right. It doesn't go on your record. It's no harm, no foul. Right. So, I mean, there's a lot of pros and cons to leasing, but at the end of the day, if you have a major breakdown under a lease, the company's going to fix that truck. Right. When you come to the end of that and you got that balloon payment, you ain't got to worry about all the maintenance and stuff because the company already took care of it. Nine mm -hmm. times out of ten, if you're in good graces with them and you basically do the balloon payment, they're going to wash that whole maintenance that they didn't put into the truck away because they've made their money. Right. But a lot of people, they don't understand that because they keep listening to all these people talk so bad about leasing, but there's actually positives to it. Right. If a company's willing to shell out all this money to fix the truck, let them do it. That's more money for your pockets. That's very true. That's very true. All right, well, we've been chilling here with Ghost Man and uh, also known as, I, I keep messing this up, it's David Robinson, a.k.a. Ghost, man. And <laughs> he's dropped some information for you guys from a fleet owner's perspective and also something to feed uh, the rookies or for the guys that are coming into this industry. Uh, 
for some food for thought. You know what I mean? Once again, you got to do the dishes on it. All right. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and conclude this video. Once again, I'm going to let Ghost tell you guys what social media outlets you can find him on. Instagram, Ghost underscore 2819. Uh, Snapchat, just Ghost 2819. And I think that's really it. So really the only two things I'd be on is Facebook. Facebook. Which is David Robinson. But I really don't know how people find me, but they do. All right. And how they can find you on the YouTube. Other than me, I'm going to link his I'm gonna link uh, his channel. Still Login TV is S-T-I-L-L uh, H-A-W-G-I-N TV. There it is. Y'all go subscribe to him right now after you finish watching the Still Hogging TV on YouTube. Go check him out and check out his other uh, social media platforms, man. And uh, we out, man. We gone. Y'all be safe. Don't do nothing. We wouldn't do like being unsafe. And as always, winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners. And we are the definition of winners focusing on winning. And y'all yep. stay focused on that as Silver well. Silverbacks. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Bows Lang. I'm speaking Bows Lang.